Vikings, six and two, taking on the Chiefs at Arrowhead. Chiefs are five and three. We have not had the official Patrick Mahomes ruled out yet, but we will. He's not going to be playing this week. He's listed at doubtful, which means the Chiefs are going to have to survive a very good Vikings team, and that's going to be hard. It's yeah. going to be a difficult task. They could be five and four. Yeah, and and Raiders hanging around in that division. That's about it, though. They'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> um, Cousins, Kirk Cousins. He's been, you know, from a an NFL perspective, probably the best quarterback in football over the last handful of weeks, but. Fantasy wise, can you trust him in this matchup? I am. Yeah, yeah, I, absolutely. You like playing against the Chiefs. They're, they're I love it. <laughs> look, I, I I get that they're they're be really being exploited by the running back position, but uh, because they're kind of at least fantasy wise against wide receivers, they've been okay seventh. But against the quarterback, they're twenty third. You're right, eighty. Kirk Cousins has been dominating. And go before last week, you know, he was coming off of a run of multiple games with four touchdowns, and he was actually sensational against Washington. 285 yards, almost an 89% completion rate. He just didn't throw a touchdown, and we know that in fantasy football, if you don't score a touchdown at the quarterback position, you're it's going to be a poor fantasy day. And I think he can bounce back from that. I'll, I'll bet on the odds for Kirk Cousins. Yeah, and and he very well might have Adam Thielen back. Uh, he practiced again after the injury. He's got a good chance to play Sunday. I expect Thielen to suit it up. The Vikings have become a pretty straightforward fantasy situation with Dalvin Cook, who's you know the RB1 right now oh. uh, on the week for us and you know leads the league in yards from scrimmage, touchdowns, rushing yards, averaging 23 touch touches a game. That's not changing this week. No, it's not. And then you know, if Thielen and Diggs are are active, you're playing them, right? Yes. You are. Yeah, we're back in. We're back in, baby. You're basically, the, the fire this, got put out. In this matchup, you're playing every relevant Viking, unless you think Kyle Rudolph is relevant. <laughs> um, on the other side, though, it's the opposite. I it's it's a it's a world where it's much more difficult. It's to, it's much more murky. But I what a world, man. The Chiefs. At the beginning of the year, it was you literally play everybody. You you play their third wide receiver or the third running back. And, you you play the them all. It, oh, with the Vikings was no. It was jump off the ship, throwing the ball ten times. What but, a turn of events! But I do I ten do think time. Matt, I, ten <laughs> times. <laughs> That's Mike Zimmer, right? Uh, here's the deal: Matt Moore is good enough to get the job done. He's not. You, you're not going to see the same upside here. But I do think against this Vikings defense that Kansas City puts up enough points. I'm not terrified. You guys have been much more sympathetic to Matt Moore than I am over the last few weeks. I mean, Mike was right out of the gate. Mike had all the confidence in the world in Matt Moore. You seem to have it now. Well, he's been fine. I mean, haven't we been right? 267-2 and two last week. You've been kind of right. But, I mean, 267-2, man. That's exactly this what I'm is talking tw about. It's 2019, Mike. 267-2. and two. I mean, it, that's not very hard to do. And you did have – I mean, you had limited upside with some of their skill position players last week. You certainly don't have the Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey that you would have with Pat Mahomes. That's for sure. Nor the confidence to even roll out a Sammy Watkins or a McCall Hardman. McCall Hardman, I have no confidence in. That's just, just more for snaps for me. Exactly. He's not on the field. He. Uh, what did he have, like – Four, four routes run, two catches, yeah. and a long touchdown. No, he's he's gone for now. But uh, Matt, that was good. Matt Moore was the quarterback twelve last week. It's not like you're you're not benching benching. That's a new word. <laughs> you're not <laughs> you're not benching. You're not benching Tyree Kill. I'm not saying you are, but I brought it up. Sammy Watkins. You know, he had twenty two percent of the targets last week. But well, let me ask you this because. Five we, for 45, no touchdowns. Did you actually have confidence back when Patrick Mahomes was playing with Sammy Watkins? No. But okay. you had confidence in Sammy Watkins last week. Yes. And I, uh, with Matt Moore, and I don't have confidence in Sammy Watkins ever, about 27% of the time, actually. <laughs> like that taffy. But are you playing Watkins? I'm not. I I'm, No, not in this matchup. Are you starting any of the running backs against Minnesota? Please don't make. You know, me Minnesota is fifth in the league against the running back position. They're only giving up sixteen point five total. You break that up across McCoy, Williams, Williams, Thompson. Yeah, you, and, and you don't know who it's going to be. I mean, because what happened with the shady fumble and Damian Williams coming in and looking good 
I don't think you could start any Chief running back whatsoever at this matchup. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If those were the best few minutes of your life, you should probably click the subscribe button and check out a full-length episode.